I saw you fucked your best friend's son. I did. <laughs> Let's get into that. And you're, you're still friends. So this is, this oh, is yeah. juicy. Yeah, it was. Um, so it was a military guy. Uh-huh. And it wasn't the military guy that I posted on my Instagram where he invited me to the Marine Corps ball. It was a different yeah. guy. But um, she's cool. She's really open. She was kind of like the porn star that was never a porn star. Okay. And um, her son is hot. He's like 26. He's Uh in the army. um, Good military guy. And he was home. I think he was, I don't know where he was stationed before. He was in Germany. And then he was getting ready to go to Arizona. Mm -hmm. And um, anyhow, she brought him to my house one night, like a sacrificial lamb. (laughs) And... I think she, like, obviously she knew that, like, bringing my house, I was like, I'm going to fuck the shit out of him. <laughs> and um, it was funny, too, because she was, I remember it was pouring rain that night. And she was like, all right. She's like, well, if he gets on your nerves, just send him in an Uber home. And I was, like, back to her house. <laughs> and um, it was funny because we went, like, three rounds. And then I think when he finally tapped out, he was, like, just jumped in the bed with me. And I was like, oh, fuck. He wants to stay the night. And normally I'm not a fan of like sleepovers, but like okay. he was just really nice and we were vibing and I was like, all right, you could stay the night. And then we were going at it like the next morning. Finally, she texted me. She was like, can you please bring my son home? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I want to spend time with him before he goes off to Arizona. And I was like, all right, I'll drop him off. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you for uh, supporting our troops. Yeah. That's Love. very gracious of you. God bless America. God bless America. Troops. No, mm-hmm. I am a huge supporter of our troops. Damn definitely. Right. <laughs> so tell us about your experience. So you went to the, was it the Marine Corps ball? Yeah. Tell us about that. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. That was something that was always on my bucket list. I mean, the Marine Corps ball, it's such a prestigious event. And um, it was one of my fans, of course, young guy, he was 23. Ooh, so yeah. you fuck your fans? No, I didn't fuck him. Okay. Honest to God, that night I did not fuck him. I tapped out because I'm an old lady. It was like 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> it was like 10, 10 30. And I could tell like they wanted to get out of their uniforms. And they were, he was like, I met this bartender the last time I was in Vegas at Caesars. I want to go see him. And the event was being held at the Paris. And I was like, okay, he's probably not at Caesars anymore bartending. Like, let's hang out here. And there were so many people that were at the Paris just, yeah. you know, watching it. I mean, it's amazing. Such an amazing event. So I was like, eh, I don't really want to do shots of vodka like anymore. I'm kind of tired myself. <laughs> and they wanted to get out of their uniforms to go party party. And I was like, all right, see you later. But um, no, it was an amazing event. I was really surprised. I was thinking there was going to be some oldies like around my age, 37, 38. The age range was like 18 to 23, which I was like, Wow. Yeah, because most of the Marines are in the, they're come right out of young. high school, they're college, yeah. like they're young yeah. 20s. Yeah. I mean, I was literally the adult at the dinner table. You, know, <laughs> you sit down, it's a plated meal, but these kids are like down there, like hitting their vapes and they were just wanting to get fucked up. And I was like, no phones at the table. Put the vape yeah. down. But, you, you know, they were very respectful. Like, you know, they stood attention. You do not disrespect the flag. They were just, mm-hmm. you know, very well mannered in that sense. But they yeah. were just wanting a party. But it was, awesome. It was a great experience. As they should. As they should. Did a lot of the Marine boys be like, oh, my God, it's Rochelle Ryan. Yeah, it was it was cool. But you know what? I was expecting it and I was yeah. fine with it. I had an incredible time. And now I'm getting my DMs are like, will you go to my army ball, the Navy one? And you know, my baseball formal. <laughs> I went to that one because it was in Vegas. I did not have to get on a plane. Well, there's four branches yeah. of military. So you got the Marines down. Might as well get the, you know, yeah. hit, hit the well, triple crown. I think the Marines Air Force and is- the Navy, they do it together. Okay. Yeah. They do it together because I met some seamen, <laughs> some seamen there that night. And then, um, yeah. Then the oh, army does one. And I think the Air Force, I would assume. They yeah. Army, Air too. Force, Navy, they're all like yeah. doing their own, own little thing. Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> so do you consider and she's got her camo too. It's perfect. Yeah, I do. Yeah. On, on topic. I love my military guys. I do anything for them if I can. 